Hello guys, it is so good to see you guys. Yes, I can see you. I got my glasses on. I just woke up and this, you guys know, this is the real me right here. This is what Steve sees every day. I'm definitely the biggest catfish in the world. I'm gonna give myself that title because I've been doing this on YouTube for so long. So today I felt like I should definitely do a video just focused on my catfish look. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. Okay, so before you apply makeup, don't ever forget to put on primer. I'm using this primer from Pretty Vulgar. I know it looks kind of great because it has like charcoal powders and like lava water, but I love that it makes my skin feel really refreshed. It makes it like really cool and minty. Um, so I'm just going to apply this everywhere, let my skin absorb, and then we're gonna move on to the foundation. For the foundation, I'll be using Clinique's Even Better Refresh. I recommend a full coverage foundation like this one because it looks great in photos. Um, this helps to instantly make my skin look more perfected, even toned and radiant. Now I'm just gonna let the beauty blender do its magic. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I usually have my husband wet my beauty blender and I think finally he's been able to get it like the right moistness. Um, okay, back to the foundation guys. This foundation is actually really hydrating, so it's not gonna make my skin look really cakey. It's not gonna settle on like the fine lines and wrinkles. It also has like a skin plumping ingredient like hyaluronic acid, peptides, and salicylic acid, which improves the skin in time. All my dark spots and acne scars are concealed. My skin looks flawless. Um, if you guys are curious, this foundation, it is available in 27 different shades and it's priced at $32. You can visit any clinic counter for a free 10 day sample for your perfect shade. After that, I'm going to use my Cover FX Concealer. I have a lot of dark circles because I haven't been sleeping on time lately. I think you guys know why. Um, so I'm just going to apply a lot underneath my eyes and then some on the forehead. Then over the concealer to make sure that it stays in place and my eyes look super bright. Um, I use the Hourglass Mineral Translucent Powder. And then another thing that I do after that is use a warmer foundation. This is from Benefit and then kind of contour my face, give it a nicer shape. And it also helps my face look a little skinny. We're moving on to the brows, guys. The brows makes the biggest difference, guys, because I don't have a lot of brow hair. Um, whoever created the brow pomade, thank you so much. It like saved my life. So I'm just going to shape my brows first. And then I also like to go in with a darker brow liner and give it that ombre look. I think I'm ready to do the eye makeup, guys. I'm really excited because I'm doing this glitter cut crease, very Instagram type of makeup look. Um, but before that, I'm gonna apply some of my eyeshadow primer from NARS. Um, and here's the palette, guys. I'm using Violet Voss Taupe Notch Palette. I'm slowly gonna build up that brown and make it more intense. The eyes are gonna be the main focus. Um, I know you should definitely focus on your favorite feature, which are my lips, but I love playing up the eyes. There's just so much you can do with your eye makeup. Um, also, I'm taking this opportunity to contour my nose because it's also a great contour shadow. Um, after that, I'm going to take the deeper browns from the palette and then apply it a bit lower than where I applied the previous eyeshadow. It looks a little messy right now, guys, but once you pull out the concealer and do that little cut crease, it's going to look really nice and clean. Um, I don't know where you guys like to cut the crease. I usually do it like right in between of my lids and my eyebrows. Over the concealer, I'm going to apply a bronze eyeshadow, but I'm still leaving like a tiny little gap between the concealer and the bronze because that's where I'm gonna place the glitter eyeliner next. I'm carefully applying the glitter liner on the edges of the cut crease. Um, I'm using this glitter liners from LA Splash. I use some gold, some pink. I'm not sure if you guys can see the pink, um, but I also smoked out my upper eyelids and the bottom with a matte black eyeshadow. 
I'm gonna finish off the eye makeup with some Huda Beauty false lashes. I really liked how the lashes looked. I don't know what the style is, but I'll find out and put them in the description. Um, I applied some mascara from Thrive Cosmetics and now you guys can see the difference with both my eyes. Now I'm gonna focus on the glow, guys. I have this gorgeous crystal highlighter from Smashbox and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones, nose, everywhere on the face. All right guys, so now I'm going to start filling in my lips with this nude pink lip liner. I'm gonna actually use two lip liners. I like to use a lighter lip liner first just to make sure that the lips look like the same color. And then I go in with a darker, like I call it the contour lip liner. And then this is gonna just kind of like outline on the edges and I can make the lips look bigger if I want to. Um, after that, I like to apply a little bit of lip gloss or lipstick. The makeup is done, but we can't overlook the hair, guys. Um, one thing I love to do when I'm lazy is just throw on a wig and it looks really pretty. It looks very sleek and polished. I also put on some contacts because that is the best way you can change up your look. You just look like a completely different person with some contacts on. Just make sure they're safe for your eyes. Um, another thing that you can do with your hair to have that natural hairline is just layer on a wig and put some pins on and you'll just get this amazing volume. So here I am in my final form, transformed like a transformer robot. Let me know what catfish level this is in the comments below. And I know you guys catfish as well. So I wanna see your pictures, send it to me on my social medias. Um, and yeah, thank you so much Clinique for sponsoring this video. I'll be back with some more fun and unique content. Until next time, bye.